tried cutting this by hand, but I just couldn't get it straight, so that miter saw made it really easy. Okay, this motor pulls about four pounds, this one pulls about one pound. There's the information. And here's the information on the one I've been using. This 107 prop I've used on this motor before in the past on this plane, and I've been able to fly in all directions with that. Straight up, no problem. It's hard to find planes like this these days. So I took some paint, put some dabs on here, and I'm just gonna touch it to there. Now I'll drill some holes for the dowel sticks. Now that nose cone is soft wood, so I need to put a lot of epoxy in there. This will slide in just like that. It'll work. I'll add a, probably a block of wood across there. Okay, the epoxy is on, and I put the excess epoxy inside of here, and really reinforce that. Over 20 years ago, my brother Daniel made this airplane out of a box of sticks. Look at how he attached the elevator and rudder to that stick, the control rod. Thread, and that thread is um, glued in there. I think I'll add a few drops of thin CA to help that thread stay on there good. All right, it needs to sit for 24 hours like that. And I gotta figure out what battery I'm gonna use. This 5200 is just too much. Too heavy. Okay, this battery weighs 340 grams. I need it to weigh like half of that. I'll do this one without ailerons, just a rudder. An elevator. There's the balance point. I gotta figure out how to mount all this stuff. It has more than enough power. Huh, low battery. That's enough for today. I'm gonna have to order a smaller battery before I figure out how I'm gonna mount all this stuff together.